In this case, this is a lady that basically fell on her left knee directly on the patella and she had pain. The patient, the patient was somewhat obese and while examining the knee, you couldn't really tell for sure if there was any fluid collection. However, after doing ultrasound, you can see a fairly large fluid collection right above the patella. You may say this is a prepatellar bursitis. However, given the nature of the injury and the quantity of fluid, I think this is more of a morel lavalli type lesion where the subcutaneous tissue basically sloughed away from the underlying fascia and that space essentially became filled with fluid. We were able to manage her by aspirating this fluid collection. And without ultrasound, I probably would not have picked up on that. So here's a picture of a normal knee where you can see the outline of the patella tendon as there's no significant fluid around the joint We're just rotating through the medium lateral aspects of the knee here. Now here's this lady that has a very large morel lavalli lesion anterior to the patella over the patella tendon as well. You can see how the patella itself is less distinct. Here we are starting our procedure. Essentially we're going from proximal to distal and we're essentially just withdrawing fluid out of this morel lavalli lesion. Here's an anatomical depiction where you can see this large fluid collection anterior to the patella and the patella tendon. And we're just rotating around this lesion to get a better sense of its pathology. And here we are, we're zooming in, get a little better sense of it. Here's some subcutaneous fat on top of this lesion, which was again sloughed or separated from the underlying layer, causing this potential space that became filled with fluid. Here's our needle, which you can see at the top of the screen, and it's going through the subcutaneous fat into this morel lavalli lesion. You can see the probe on the very top of the screen as well. And with the fat removed, you can get a sense of exactly where this needle is and how close it is to the patella tendon, which is why ultrasound was helpful to avoid injuring the patella tendon by the needle. 53-year-old female, she fell about a month ago directly on her left knee, uh, walking okay, um, there's no mechanical complaints, but she points the pain anteriorly. Her x-rays were negative for any fracture or acute, she does have some mild arthritis. It's a short access to the patella tendon and you can see some fluid, the right side of the screen is medial. And I believe she has a um, subcutaneous infrapatella bursitis. And actually, this, this fluid collection actually went on top of the patella, so it's kind of pre and infrapatella. And we're looking at the patella tendon and long axis, and we're basically just right in the mid zone of the patella tendon. You can see all that fluid on top of it. Um, going down basically past the insertion uh, on the um, tibia tubercle. You can see that fluid just tracking all in her subcutaneous tissue. The well, tendon itself looks relatively preserved. So here we are going in just trying to drain this whole fluid collection and I think it's more of a morel lavalli lesion because it was just so extensive and really uh, even beyond the infrapatella bursa went above into the prepatella bursa region. We're just trying to get through. Right now it's just, it's not, it's not, it doesn't want me to break through. It's like mm -hmm. the tissue is just catching on it. I'm not going to get anything up. Here it's interesting that you know you have this sharp needle and sometimes it's hard for, for it to actually get through where it has to go. Sometimes you gotta give it a little jab. And that's where ultrasound comes in handy because you don't want to jab it into the patella tendon unnecessarily. So you can kind of guide it and carefully try to poke it into the uh, fluid collection. Um, give me a sterile gauze. More fluid than I thought. Alright, why don't you get me uh why don't you give me some of that saline? And sometimes in these cases, I just like to try to clean it out with some saline, try to get any further debris or blood out of that region. And then we re-aspirate that saline. So this was a case where this was a woman that was somewhat overweight, and upon physical exam, there was some fullness uh, anteriorly in the knee, but I wouldn't, expect to see, I wouldn't have expected that much fluid just based on physical exam, but the ultrasound was what really demonstrated that she had a fair amount of fluid that I thought was necessary to uh, aspirate.